Now, I know many have a busy day on their hands, but the release of the new Star Wars movie today, and also the whole Witcher TV series being added to Netflix, I know many are probably quite busy today, and before I'm able to dive into the new stuff that came out today, for instance, the Star Wars movie and also the Witcher series, I decided to kind of catch back up with Soul Leveling and talk about the events that's been going on for the past few chapters. So, the Ant Raid has officially begun. The... S-rank hunters have arrived on the island, and now we finally, for the first time, truly get to see what a dungeon break, or at the very least, an S-rank dungeon break looks like, and kind of the devastation on the world it causes, and if this isn't dealt with, what could potentially happen to the entirety of the world. Now, I'm just going to be straight up honest with you. It's very clear after the events of these latest chapters I've read that Jin is definitely going to have to intervene, because with the whole setup with whatever this creature, this offspring of the queen is, it's very apparent that Jin is going to have to step in because I don't think any of the S rank hunters can really handle it. Now, there is a potential possibility that there could be a twist. So, okay, let's uh, let's go back to the beginning. Let's go back to the beginning of when they arrived on the island. So, basically, they initiated a transmission like jammer. They had this satellite in the sky or in space that was jamming the signal on the island where the ants couldn't properly communicate whatsoever with each other. So basically it meant that if the S-rank hunters were to lead all the ants outside of the nest and attack them on the coast, you had it to where the Korean S-rank hunters were able to go in and fight the ant queen and would not have as much of a resistance. However, with the time frame they have, they only had an hour to work with, and if they're not out with a given amount of time, obviously they're going to be completely swarmed and surrounded by the ants. So there already is definitely a time frame of what these S-rank hunters can do. And regardless if they are the best of the best or not, the point still stands though is, is if you are overwhelmed, you're not going to be able to fight back. They aren't Jin. They aren't able to create soldiers, shadow soldiers to fight for them. Honestly, if Jim was completely surrounded and he didn't have all of his fighters, we we know what potentially could happen. He would die because, you know, he can't take on, let's say, thousands of people by himself if he doesn't have his shadow soldiers. So that's the point I'm getting at is, is that even if they could take out the queen and they could take out the royal guards, fighting all of the ants, which can roughly be maybe millions because if we're going by a traditional ant colony, it could be hundreds of thousands. It, it, it's ridiculous, honestly, how many ants can be in a colony. And judging by how long this ant colony has been around and maybe starvation, etc., I would say maybe there's probably almost a million ants uh, on this island, which could be pretty freaking ridiculous. And on top of that, you have just them being S rank at that, it's not going to be easy. So this is really going to push the limit of what these S-Rank Hunters are capable of. So the Jammer was definitely very important, and thankfully it does work from what we can see. However, because of this Jammer, because of leading the ants out of the nest, it also let out something very brutal, something that we really haven't got to see yet a full image of, but we do get brief glimpses of it in the latest chapter of Soul Leveling, and this new ant, whatever it is, is basically capable of ripping apart S-rank hunters like their butter. Now, regardless if Jin is stronger than them, all of them right now, it's still something that makes me question if Jin could actually take on all of those S-rank hunters by himself. So, let, let me kind of do a, a theory here, of just throwing something out there, basically. So, if Jin was to currently fight all the S-rank hunters right now, okay, that's in the Korean squad and Japan squad and all that, by himself, without using his, you know, shadow soldiers, I don't think Jin could necessarily win. I, I really don't think he would be able to win. I don't. Because the only reason why he's normally able to win is because of, because of his shadow soldiers. And what I'm trying to say is, is that this ant that is obviously capable of taking down these s rank hunters without... From what it appears, no shadow soldier or anything like that, it just looks like it's using its raw brute strength. It's not something that you can really underestimate. So, I just don't think nobody is really prepped for this thing. I, I really think Jin himself, even if he was to face it, he would struggle quite a bit just because of what it was doing. It was effortlessly getting rid of all these hunters left and right. So, uh, scary. But okay, um, there is one detail I do want to point out though. 
if there is one thing, it is that all of these hunters, the Korean hunters and the Japanese hunters, were constantly mentioning the fact that they're just ants. They were trying to do some form of tactics, but overall, they're not very complicated. They're just ants, etc. And it seems like these hunters are heavily underestimating the mentality of these ants, because it's very clear that these ants have been evolving. I mean, they have wings now. They're able to kind of fly across great distances. They are definitely evolving as a species, and it's just interesting to me that that all of these hunters are kind of slightly underestimating these ants and what they're capable of. Even if they say they're S-ranked monsters, etc., they still seem to, in their own mind, not think that they're capable of actually pulling together real tactics to bring them down. And ants are not creatures you necessarily underestimate, especially, you know, over the size of a human. Like, ant-sized humans are bigger than, you know, size of a human. You don't underestimate creatures of that, because that they're powerful. I mean, if our ants today, in our world, were to be the size of us. I couldn't imagine if they kept their strength and everything they had as their tiny self and they magnified it as their big self, th they would be ridiculously OP. So I'm just trying to say here is that it's interesting to me that all these hunters are underestimating them, but there was clear indication that these ants are doing some form of tactics. Because you see one of the Japanese hunters mentioned that was obviously like the DPS slash tank basically saying that he was surrounded by all sides with these ants. They tried to do some form of formation and tactics. It didn't work. He took them out, but they did try some form of formation, and they did manage to wound him in the end. Two wounds on his body. So it does show that these ants are capable of working together in their own way. The question is, are these ants doing it with their own certain thought? Or is it like, once again, like a high mind or something, like they're following the orders of something, which might be whatever the creature is, this ant creature that's ripping apart these s rank hunters, or was it the queen? Now, another little detail I do want to talk about as well is the section with getting to see all of the s rank hunters display their strength, kind of what they're capable of, and what to expect going forward against whatever this ant is capable of. So, we, for a very long time now, since like the beginning of the story of solo leveling, we've had a gradual build up to the fame of these s ranks. We, we've had it to where these s ranks have been shown here and there to be all powerful, they're crazy strong, they're just like gods in their own right, and we finally get to see them display their power. Like, for instance, the fire mage, how he just spits out a bunch of fire and all that, he creates like a fire net over the mountaintop. You have the healer that's able to heal these poison or this corrosive poison that was ripping apart the tanks in the front line. I mean, you have, you know, our female character that, you know, is able to go in, rush, and take down a bunch of ants like it's nothing. There's a lot of little things we see, even the transformation of, you know, one of the other S ranks. And I, I think that this, you know, these latest chapters do a good job of really going to show what these hunters are capable of. And I think it does meet my expectations of what I expected from them. They're definitely different from the other hunters we have seen in terms of A rank, B rank, C rank, etc. They definitely do have a little bit more of a level head, and they are able to properly work together without freaking out too much. I do think they do a good job on that. But once again, though, I do think that this uh, this ant that's currently facing them, they're, they're not ready for it. So, what's going to happen now? Obviously, with the whole S rank hunters of the Japanese side pretty much being wiped out, there's really nothing stopping the ants from returning to the nest. There, there's nothing stopping that. So even if the queen didn't do its like final, uh, like final death scream or whatever, and scream for the ants to return, or at least her child to return, you know, I don't think it would have been that long until the ants arrived, because that one ant was just ripping all the S ranks apart, and I would say give it another 5, maybe 10 minutes at max, and it would have been GG. Goto is still alive, so we didn't really get to see how he would face up against this ant, so that would really go to show kind of how strong this ant is in comparison to someone like Jin, but I think that... At this time, no matter what would have happened, if the, uh, you know, the queen didn't die in time or whatever, the ants would have arrived back. However, it is a blessing in its own right that they did take out the queen when they did, because like I said, is that they were running out of time regardless. It was not going to last an hour until the ants returned. It was probably going to be like 40 minutes or so. So them taking on the queen like they did was the best possible outcome because at the very least, they don't have to worry about fighting maybe two bosses at the same time and a whole ant army. Okay, so um, anything else really to get into? Um, I guess the last detail is, is how 
the public views this raid. So it's very clear that a lot of like uh, attention or a lot of attention's focused on this ant raid right now on the island because there's been constant consecutive failures of taking down this S rank dungeon break for a very long time. And obviously people's patience and faith within the government of Korea has slowly dwindled. They don't believe that they're able to handle this ant monster raid anymore. And they want to hope, but at the same time their hopes have gotten built up and then dragged back down constantly that they no longer really care anymore they're just in like despair all the time and you get to kind of see a depiction through the old man of how he really doesn't want to see it because it's going to be another failure people are going to die but as it continues and things are really starting to crank up and it looks like the queen's going to fall and they're going to you know be victorious you know the old man tunes in and he starts crying and i think it's a really emotional thing because imagine after everything losing let's say family members etc to this raid and then finding out that you know it's finally going to be accomplished many years later it's going to make you very emotional. This is something that's been building up since the beginning of the story, honestly. So I feel very pleased with how that chapter demonstrated how the public is viewing it. And everybody's attention right now is currently going on with this island. Like, everybody's watching it and see what's going to happen next. Because whatever does happen will definitely concrete where uh, the hunters, the s -rank hunters of Korea and Japan are stationed throughout the world. Because Japan now is severely crippled with its s ranks being destroyed like it is right now. And on top of that, having the you know s ranks of korea in their situation some of them might die as well which could definitely cripple korea too so that's the scary part but okay uh let me know your thoughts in the comments below though if you enjoy my content you know please subscribe if you like this video please leave a like and if you want to get notified for whenever i upload a video please click the bell icon down below and with that chibi out